If you're using groups in Persona Studio One, there's one feature that can come in really handy when you're working with groups. Now, regardless if you're working with groups where we actually set up a group, where we would do something like this, and I select drums, and we could do the same thing over here. Maybe we'll set up a percussion group. Or if you're doing something like a selection-based group, which in all honesty is the way that I tend to work a lot of the time, you have the ability to temporarily kind of remove a parameter from being affected by the group attributes. Now, what do I mean by that? Okay, I love using groups, both selection-based and actual groups. It allows me to do things really easily. Want to move my drums up or down? I can do that really quickly by doing this. But sometimes you need to be able to affect one parameter, and I don't necessarily want to open up my group settings and, for example, suspend the group just so I can make an adjustment to this one over here. So in that case, we have a solution, which is by holding down the Alt or Option key, we can temporarily kind of unlink a parameter from its group attributes. What do I mean by this? Okay, well, let's take a look. I'm going to, first of all, let's actually re-enable this group. So we have our drums group over here, and I'm gonna play it from here because basically we have all the different drum elements playing. Now these are gonna be soloed out. Okay, what happens if I wanted to make an adjustment? This club snare over here. If I try to move this right now, it's connected to the group, so that's not working. Holding Alt or Option, that allows me to temporarily kind of toggle that one parameter outside of the group. Let's blend that again. Okay, perfect. Same thing over here. If I needed to do a blend of these three elements together, maybe I wanted to blend them against the drums. So let's bring them in. And then maybe I say to myself, those claps are too loud. I'm just gonna hold down Alter Option and I'm temporarily removing that parameter from the group. Now, this also works when you're doing selection-based groups, of course. I wanna get a balance between these two. And I'm going to hold down Alter Option, and I can also include the Shift modifier, which makes me basically be doing fine resolution movements. So if I wanted to really kind of control that, do like 0.1 or 0.2 dB adjustments within that move, I can do that. And then the benefit, of course, being that the minute you let go of that modifier, I can adjust things against any other relative tracks or groups or anything like that. So. In addition to being useful in that context, let's take a look at something else. I'm just gonna change the input of this track so that it's not doubling up. Let's use the input of a compressor, for example. So when you have a group enabled, another thing that's set to follow, if it's defined in the group attributes, you can see you have stuff like mute, solo, and record, and monitor. So this can be useful in some cases, but maybe I don't necessarily want to record enable or monitor enable all of these tracks. Then again, we have the alter option, select it, and now I am only going to record arm or monitor enable any track that I've selected. And the same thing obviously goes for the solo. So if I was to, let's just toggle this off, if I was to mute or solo anything in a group track, it's gonna happen across all of them. But if I wanted to mute or solo just one, then I could do so just by holding Alt or Option and clicking the solo button. And it will also kind of cancel out any previous solos. So if I had these two tracks that were soloed and I went like this, it's going to cancel that out. So for that reason, I tend to use this all the time whenever I'm working in Studio One with groups, whether they're groups or selection-based groups, I find it to just be a really, really useful way that I can get a mix moving really, really quickly. Especially if I wanted to do things like maybe I wanna suspend all my groups and then I wanna work with some temporary groups like this. I can easily do that, I can make adjustments. Solo this one out. Same thing for the guitars over here. Then maybe I just want to solo out this track, bring my groups back in. So just a really great option that we have in terms of temporarily removing us. Uh, we don't have to worry about any groups that are set up or selection-based groups. Just a nice, quick, and tidy way to do that. Anyways, that's all the time I have available for today. I hope that you enjoyed this content. If you did, please consider hitting that subscribe button. Any questions or comments, be sure to leave them down below. I'll do my absolute best to get back to you. And as always, I will catch you in the next video. Cheers.